What unusual problem did Dave's sheep have in Dave and the Giant Pickle? They eat only pizza, they tip over, they have three legs, they tend to float away. They tip over! Which of the following veggies does not appear in the hairbrush song? Paw grape, the peach, Bob the tomato, Archibald asparagus. Archibald asparagus. Yours too. Is it a cheap? A Subaru. I like your tires. You've got nice chrome. A trailer hitch. Left mine at home. Oh, your suspension, it suspends me over heights I've never known. And your roll bar is to die for, by the way. I like your chrome. You already said that. Did I? Yeah. Oh. Uh treasure was Minnesota Cuke looking for at the beginning of the show? Noah's raincoat, the golden nose, Joan of Arc, Solomon's banjo. The golden nose! What is the name of Bob and Larry's computer friend? Mario, Helvetica, QWERTY, Caps Lock. Love 
is no surprise. And he can't tell you no lie. But there's a secret I've been hiding. I can't keep it no more. There's this thing about himself he's never told you before. Maybe he needs to tell you something. I don't got a very but then Oh, I need to tell you something. You figured out he don't got a very button. Very button, no. Oh, no, no. Baby, please don't squeal. Just tell me how you feel. Cause his love is for real. And if you went away, my heart would never heal. So to you he appeals. There's something missing in my middle and it's hard to ignore. There's this thing about himself he's never told you before. munchies on that fateful night around eight o'clock so i phoned in a pizza for delivery but i had a feeling that something wasn't right because i waited for hours and no pizza i set the table with a paper plate how would i know that it'd be late it's taken so long where could it be 30 minute guarantee. Pizza Angel, please come to me. Tomato sauce and cheese, so gooey. Pizza Angel, I'm on my knees. You're my number one pie from Sicily. Did it get lost? Did they just forget? Should I have ordered on the internet? Ready for dinner, now I'm not so sure. I think my soda's room temperature.
the door in expectation, but it was the saddest sight I ever saw. I could still smell the sweet aroma of deep dish goodness, but the box was empty. Your house number was broken, so I couldn't find you. I was getting kind of hungry, so I ate, ate your pizza. So, sorry about that. You don't need to tip me or anything. I'll never forget you, Pizza Angel. How did the people of Bumbleburg defeat the rumor weed in Larry Boy and the Rumor Weed? They sang a song, they turned Alfred over to her, they used a really big weed whacker, they spread nice words about Alfred. They spread nice words about Alfred. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Joining Larry are Pa Grape and Mr. Lunt, who together make up the infamous gang of scallywags, the pirates who don't do anything. We are the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay home and lay around. And if you ask us who do anything, we'll tell you. We don't do anything. Well, I've never been to Greenland, and I've never been to Denver, and I've never buried treasure in St. Louis or St. Paul, and I've never been to Moscow, and I've never been to Tampa, and I've never been to Boston in the pool. But we're the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay home and lay around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you. We don't do anything. And I never hoist the mainstay, and I never swab the poop deck, and I never fear to starve, or cause I never fail at all. And I've never walked the gangplank, and I've never owned that ferret, and I've never been to Boston in the fall. Cause we're the pirates, we don't do anything. We don't do anything. Well, I never plucked a rooster, and I'm not too good at ping pong, and I've never thrown my mashed potato down against the wall, and I've never kicked a chipmunk, and I've never gotten headlights, and I've never been to Boston in the fall. Huh? What are you talking about? What the rooster and mashed potatoes have to do with being a pirate? Hey, that's right. We're supposed to sing about piratey things. Oh, and who's ever guessed that chipmunk? That's just nonsense. Why even bring it up? Am I right? What do you think? I think you look like Captain Crunch. Huh? No, I don't. Do too. Do not. You're making me hungry. That's it. You're walking the blank. Says who? Says the cabin? I do. Oh, yeah? Aye, aye, Captain Crunch. <laughs> Bird! Yikes! And I've never licked a spark plug, and I've never sniffed a stink bug, and I've never painted daisies on a big red rubber ball, and I've never bathed in yogurt, and I don't look good in leggings. You just don't get it. And we've never been to Boston in the fall. Pass the chips. Who's got the remote control? Here it is. Time for Eraldo. It's definitely time for Wapna. Oh, I don't like this show. Hey, look. I found a quarter. What kind of vegetable is Mr. Lunt? Zucchini, hazelnut, onion, gourd. Gourd! And now it's...
it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. There once was a boy who lived in a house, and the house sat under a tree. By the tree ran a fence that stretched far and wide round the gated community. Can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I kicked it into the tree. And my ball bounced up. And my ball dropped in to the gated community. Oh, the gated community is where we like to be. Everything's so lovely, your oh, hearts are filled with glee. And when you come to visit, you can stand outside and see what a lovely bunch we are in our gated unity. Um, can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I kicked it into the tree. And my ball bounced up. And my ball dropped in to the gated community. Oh, the gated community is where we like to be. Our clothes are never dirty and our lawns are always green. And when you come to visit, you can stand outside and see what a tiny bunch we are in our gated unity. The gated community, we think you will agree, is pleasantly devoid of unsightly screen and free. Free, free of debris. songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. One day, while talking with Dr. Archibald, Laddie confronts one of his deepest fears. If my lips ever left my mouth, packed a bag and headed south, that'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I see, that'd be too bad. You'd be so sad. That'd be too bad. All righty. If my lips said adios, I don't like you, I think you're gross, that'd be too bad. I might get mad. Hmm, that'd be too bad. You might get mad. That'd be too bad. Fascinating. If my lips moved to the loop, left a mess and took my tooth, that'd be too bad. I'd call my dad. Oh, dear, that'd be too bad. You'd call your dad. That'd be too bad. Hold it. Did you say your father? Fascinating! So what you're saying is, if your lips left you... That'd be too bad, I'd be so sad, I might get mad, I'd call my dad, that'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. Why? Cause I love my lips. Believe that bop be ba boo ee da ba boo ba da boo ba yabba da ba ba dee ba ba boom bum dee ba 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 da yabba da ba da ba 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 Oh my, this is more serious than I thought. Laddie, what do you see here? Um, that looks like a lip. What about this? It's a lip. And this? It's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 lip. Laddie, tell me about your childhood. When I was just two years old, I left my lips out in the cold and they turned blue. What could I do? Oh, dear. They turn blue. What could you do? Oh, they turn blue. I see. On the day I got my tooth, I had to kiss my great Aunt Ruth. She had a beard, and it felt weird. My, my, she had a beard, and it felt weird. She had a beard. Oh. 
Ten days after I turned eight, got my lips stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed. And I just stood there until the fire department came and broke the lock with the crowbar, and I had to spend the next six weeks in lip rehab with this kid named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the lip, and we couldn't even talk to each other until the fifth week because both of our lips were so swollen, and when he did start speaking, he just spoke Polish, and I only knew like three words in Polish, except now I know four because Oscar taught me the word for lip. Usta. Your friends all laughed. Usta. How do you spell that? I don't know. So what you're saying is that when you were young... They turned blue, what could I do? She had a beard and it felt weird, my friends all laughed. whoop -da. I'm confused. I love my lips. Little bop 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 at the time. Bye, 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 bye. The water buffalo song. Everybody's got a water buffalo. You're the fast, but mine is slow. Oh, where'd we get them? I don't know, but everybody's got Say everyone's got a water buffalo and everyone does not have a water buffalo. We're going to get nasty letters saying, where's my water buffalo? Why don't I have a water buffalo? And are you prepared to deal with that? I don't think so. Just stop being so silly. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Everybody's got a baby kangaroo. You're the thief but my... Can you figure out the name of the following show? Let on sauce a tell. Snoodle's tail. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Our curtain opens as Larry, having just finished his morning bath, is searching for his hairbrush. Having no success, Larry cries out. Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 oh, Having heard his cry, Pa Grape enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Pa regains his composure and reports. I think I saw a hairbrush back there. Back there is my hairbrush. Back there is my hairbrush. Back there, back there, oh where, back there, oh where, oh where, back there, back there, back there. Is my hairbrush. Having heard his joyous proclamation, Junior Asparagus enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Junior regains his composure and comments, Why do you need a hairbrush? You don't have any hair! Larry is taken aback. The thought had never occurred to him. No hair? What will this mean? What will become of him? What will become of his hairbrush? Larry wonders, No hair for my hairbrush. No hair for my hairbrush. No hair, 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 back there, no hair. For my hairbrush. Having heard his wonderings, Bob the tomato enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Bob regains his composure and confesses, Larry, that old hairbrush of yours. Well, you never use it. You don't really need it, so... Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know. But I gave it to the peach. Because he's got hair. Feeling a deep sense of loss, Larry stumbles back and laments. Not fair. Oh, my hairbrush. Not fair. My poor hairbrush. Not fair, not fair, no hair, not fair, no wear, no hair, not fair, not fair, not fair. My little hairbrush. Having heard his lament, the peach enters the scene. Himself in a towel, both Larry and the peach are shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of each other. 
But recognizing Larry's generosity, the beach is thankful. Thanks for that, hairbrush. Yes, good has been done here. The beach exits the scene. Larry smiles, but still feeling an emotional attachment for the hairbrush, calls out... Take care of my hairbrush. Take care. Oh, my hairbrush. Take care, take care, don't dare not care. Take care, nice hair, no fair. Take care, take care of my hairbrush. The end. And now it's time for The Blues with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings the blues. Hey, everybody. I'm going to lay down some blues. All sunshine and roses. No rain came my way. I said, all sunshine and roses. No rain came my way. Mm-mm. My dad bought me ice cream. Oh, happy, 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 happy day. Mm -hmm. I ate up that ice cream. Got some on my face. That's right, right on my face. I said, I ate up that ice cream. Got some on What you doing? I'm singing the blues. Oh, man. The blues is for singing when you feel sad. But I don't feel sad. Man, you got no business singing the blues. Here, let me help you out. Take this. Cool. Ice cream. Thanks. Now give me back that ice cream. You took my ice cream. You took it from me. You took my ice cream. You took it away from me. Oh, yeah. Now you're getting it. Now listen up. But I'm still not sad. I'll just have a cookie. No, 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 man. You almost had it. Come on, like this. You took away my ice cream. You took it away. Now try it again. My cookies and ice cream, they both gone away. That's right. Mm -hmm. Feel it. My cookies and ice cream, they both gone away. Oh, sweet, man. Sweet. But that don't bother me none. My freshly baked strudel. What? Strudel? Man, you can't say strudel in the blues. That don't even rhyme. Well, what about poodle? Because I got a poodle. Ha! Oh, no, don't tell me you're going to eat that poodle. No, I'm just going to pet him. Petting poodles makes me happy. <laughs> Sorry, man. You way too happy to sing the blues. Hello? Would you like to poker? Sure. Don't got no ice cream, no cookies, no strudel. Don't got no ice cream, no cookies, no strudel. But I'm your lady, your lady, your lady happy. Just here with my poodle. That's right. Oh, yeah. I'm your lady, your lady, your lady happy. Just me and my poodle. This has been The Blues with Larry. Tune in next time to... Oh, never mind. Larry's not likely to be singing the blues again anytime soon. Greetings from the studios of Big Idea. I'm Mike Naraki, the voice of Larry the Cucumber and Larry Boy. Welcome to this special presentation of Larry Boy and the Bad Apple, a lesson in fighting temptation. 
It's been about seven years since our last episode of Larry Boy, Larry Boy and the Rumor Weed, and we couldn't wait to get our plunger-headed hero back on the screen. It's been a fun show to make. It's got great humor, great action, and most importantly, a great lesson about fighting temptation. We'd love to hear from you. Please log on to BigIdea.com to let us know what you thought about the show. Well, thanks once again for coming, and enjoy the show!